hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey either way hey y'all so i want to share my dream with y'all and before i share it this is what god told me to name the video so it's congratulations you understood the assignment so in my dream i remember standing in line right and apparently it, the the look of it was like I was at college, right? And I was standing in line to receive my paperwork. So I got in line and I get there and they're like, they can't find my paperwork, right? And in this line, it's like a few different checkpoints, like a few different people that I have to see, right? So I go to the next person and they can't find it. And then I get to the next person and all of a sudden like they find my paperwork so that when i when they find it then i have to go to the next person because they got to do something to it and then the next person has to do something to it so i'm going through all of these you know checkpoints because they verifying my paperwork and you know things like that so i get to the last person right and they take my paperwork and they looking at it and they looking at it like um like i'm starting to get worried because they looking at it like what you know like you know like it's not making no sense to them or whatever so they start calling people over and people start crowding around the paperwork and you know whatever so they're like um they're not really saying nothing to me and i'm just standing there looking like what's going on you know so next thing I know, they saying, um, the person who has my paperwork, they're like, we about to make copies of, uh, I'm going to make copies of it and I'll bring it right back. So the person who had my paperwork, they was like, they need to make copies and the paper, it was like a big stack. Okay. So I'm like front and back or what, like, cause how long is this about to take? So they take the paper and I'm just waiting like, and for some reason, y'all, this is stuck in my head. And I'm like, so I guess they taking, um, they doing copies of front and back because they taking a long time. And so I'm waiting and waiting and it seems like it's a long time. So next thing you know, I get distracted by some type of noise or something and I start hiding or something like that. And then next thing I know, I walk away from the desk. And um, after that, something else happened. And long story short, I'm just going to say that what happened, it tried to remind me of my past. Okay. So I'm going to tell y'all what the dream symbolized. Okay. So standing in line, I'm waiting to get my assignment. And all of a sudden, nobody could find it. Right. So this symbolizes, this symbolizes me, okay, like having a hard time, you know, figuring out what I'm supposed to be doing because I haven't received my assignment, right? And the people who lost it are um, symbolized as the people who, you know, was basically trying to keep it from me, okay? So then they found it because they didn't have a choice because i already knew what i was supposed to be doing so now that you now that i know you can't hide anything from me that belongs to me okay so i get down the line and then the people at the end you know when i finally get through my checkpoints and i receive my assignment and i'm ready to you know start doing what i'm supposed to be doing the person at the end takes my paper and, you know, is astonished by what my assignment is and they take it to go make copies of it. So that symbolizes that when you receive your assignment and you know what you're supposed to be doing and you're walking authentically in your purpose and you're being yourself and you're focused when people see you walking in your authority that God has given you, they get um, intimidated by your light, okay? So the person who is trying to make copies, that's an intimidation um, 
factor intimidation uh routine. It's a trick of the devil, y'all, <laughs> to be for somebody to try to intimidate you to copy what you're doing so then it makes you stop, okay? And this happened to me before, and it made me stop doing what I was doing because I'm thinking that now I'm copying off of them, but in all reality, I was authentically being myself. And the person who, you know, was uncomfortable with me being me, they knew that it was an intimidation tactic. That's what it is, a tactic. And they started to copy off of what I was doing to make me intimidated. Because first of all, they know how to manipulate the situation. They know how to use tactics to get you to, um, you know, feel like that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing because they know that you're watching. They're trying to get your attention to knock you off your square or to make you unfocused, right? So the person who took my paperwork and took it to copy it, that was a distraction from the devil right there, okay? To make me feel like that, um, you know, f so they can copy what I'm doing, okay? So then after that, I start getting distracted by other things. So I... I, I walk off. And so now I done left my assignment with the person, right? So now I'm thinking like, now it's like um, I got so distracted from, from what they're doing that I leave my assignment for them, right? So then the other thing is the, the enemy will try to... Um, the enemy will try to distract you as well by trying to bring up your past or try to drag you back into the past. And so then you won't be able to walk into the new thing. OK, so when God gives you dreams, you don't automatically understand what he's trying to tell you when, you know, exactly when you wake up. Right. So it took me like maybe a day to uncover what God was trying to say and when I finally understood what he was saying y'all I just started to cry because God is amazing like the way that he will show you that you're on the right track you know and you're doing the right thing like if you're watching this video right now it's because you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing so congratulations to you and just keep on going okay it doesn't matter what it looks like, what anything looks like. God doesn't do things the way that we see because if he gives us too much, we'll destroy it because we don't know what to do with it. Because for one, it's really not ours. Bless you, baby. It's really not ours to do anything with. We're doing this for God. It's for his glory, okay? So he wants to make sure that we have everything we need inside of us to be able to do what he's asking us to do. So the reason that I got emotional when I understood what he was saying is because all the times, right, that we have tried and persisted and endured, right, and we finally made it, right? Like made it to you may look like something else. Made it to me may look like something else, but you made it to a point in your life where God is telling you, good job, well done. And it's not about what you have physically. It's about what you, how you've grown mentally, okay? to where the people around you that was afflicting you. Because, yeah, we, we can take responsibility for what we allow people to do with us, but you can only take so much responsibility when you're ignorant to what they're doing, which means you, you just don't know, okay? You don't know what people are doing or how they're afflicting you or what you're doing to, uh, you know, allow it to happen. But God is saying that, 
you have overcome the tricks of the enemy okay you have came to a point in your life where you've healed enough so that you can see how you're being afflicted okay and while you can also you know see what people are doing because maybe you've been the person doing it before you know or because it's something that you healed from so you can empathize with that person like hey i've been there before right or hey um i can't i don't want to be mean or judge this person because once upon a time i was trying to heal from the same thing right but you don't have to empathize to the point where you keep on allowing this person or these people to do what they're doing to you and it's stopping you from growing and becoming the person that god sees you to become because at the same time while you're empathizing with these people they also see that they're hurting you right and that they're hurting you to the point where you're not able to grow but they don't know what they're doing because they've never made it past this point okay so give yourself grace to grow give yourself grace to know that look i didn't know what was going on then give the other people grace in a way to say hey i've been there before right and you know you can still love people from a distance but don't allow anybody to stop you from receiving the things that god has for you okay because then you're gonna live and live and live right and you're not going to never reach the fullness of life or what god has for you because you stay surrounded by people who wasn't committed to growing wasn't committing wasn't committed to knowing who god truly is and how he works in our lives so once again congratulations you deserve it keep on shining your light and don't let nobody you know stop you or stand in the way by any means necessary the righteous are bold what they take it by force right so now that you know how the enemy is moving don't be nice like don't be nice you don't need to be nice to nobody you need to be bold like Jesus was. Because being nice will get you killed. Okay? <laughs> I can't say that. No, but for real. Being nice and acting like being blind to the situation. Even if you know what's going on. Being nice. that People will take advantage of that. And next thing you know. Your light is dim and now you're not living to your fullness because you keep on surrounding your people who you know don't mean you no good, okay? So y'all, that's all I got to say because now I'm going into something else. But congratulations, you deserve it no matter what your assignment or no matter what level that you have reached now. God is saying he is proud of you and he loves you and to keep on going and you deserve it. So, y'all, that's all I got today. And until next time, God willing, I see you and I love you.